In this video, we'll learn about param converters. What is a param converter? Think about passing a query param or a path param, which is an integer. Now, in your resource, you can have an add path param or add query param or any of that param annotations for that matter, which capture that value and assign it to an integer variable, right? It could be an integer method argument, it could be a member variable like we've seen. Now, how does the conversion happen from a string to an integer? Think about this. When something gets sent over HTTP, be it the query param or the path param, what you're actually dealing with are strings, right? It's, it, you know, you don't know what the data type is. It's always sent a string. So we talked about this in the previous course. There's something on JAXRS that takes that value and then examines the method argument or whatever that you've annotated with that path param and says, okay, this thing is an integer. So the developer expects it to be an integer. Now, Jersey does that conversion, right? It takes that path param, converts it to an integer. If it's a query param, it takes that and converts it to an integer. So the destination of that conversion really depends on what the data type of your uh, field that's annotated is, right? So if you've annotated uh, a double, then it takes that param value and converts it to a double, right? If it's a string, it just takes it as a string. So there is this implicit conversion that happens behind the scenes and we don't even know about it. So this is actually happening thanks to the param converters. Jersey comes with a set of bundled param converters that know how to convert from a string to the right data type. Now this works fine for some of the native data types, but let's say you have your own data type that you need to convert from a string to. So Jersey wouldn't be able to do it, right? It says, hey, I have no idea how to convert from a string to your custom data type. So this is where creating param converters helps. So you can create your own param converters that handles that conversion. So let's take a look at how you can write your own param converter. So for implementing a param converter, we need our custom type that the param converter converts from string to. So I'm gonna create this custom type, which is a class called my date. It's my own custom implementation of the date class. Kind of a contrived example, but this will work for exploring what the param converter can do. So in this class, I have three fields. I have a date, month, and year. And uh, these are integers, and I'm storing the date in these three fields. Now, I wanna convert from a string to a instance of this class. And here's my API that I wanna build. I have a date slash path param, now this uh, path param could be something like today, tomorrow, or yesterday. And what I wanna do is convert from the string today to a my date instance that's, that holds the values for the current date. And if the path param is tomorrow, I wanted to convert to a my date instance with the date being tomorrow's date, right? And if it's yesterday, yesterday's date. So this is a string which needs to be converted to an instance of my date with the date, month, and year values being the corresponding values for today, tomorrow, or yesterday. So that's the idea. So let me go ahead and create this my date class first. It's gonna say new class, and I'll name the class my date. This is gonna be just a simple POJO. It has three integer fields, private. They are uh, date, month, and year. And now I'm gonna create getters and setters for each of them. And this is it, a simple POJO, which is our custom type. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new resource, which is the date resource. So this is what handles the slash date, slash, uh, you know, today, tomorrow, yesterday, all those, all those uh, API calls. Now I'm gonna annotate this with add path, and uh, the path is gonna be date slash and the date param. So I'm gonna call this date string. So the date string could be those uh, date qualifiers like today, tomorrow, and yesterday. Now I can write a method here. I'm gonna make it a get because I'm making a get request to this URL. Let's say this produces media type dot text plane. Okay, so I'm gonna create a simple method here which returns a string. I'm gonna call this get requested date. Now to accept the path param, I'm gonna use the add path param annotation. 
we need to pass in a value, which is the date string. So this is the value in the path param for the add path annotation at the class level. I'm gonna accept a string called date string. Now this gives me the actual value of the string that's passed. So if I do a slash date slash tomorrow, date string is gonna to be tomorrow. So I'm just gonna return cart the date string. Now if I access web API slash date slash today, it's gonna to pick that today from the path param, pass it to the uh, method argument and it prints today. Similarly, tomorrow gets printed as well. Now this is fine, this is nothing new, right? We've seen this. But now what I wanna do is not accept this as a string. I wanna accept this as my custom data type. I want my date over here. Now if I were to change this to my date without doing anything else, right? I'm using my custom data type here. Let's say I print my date dot to string. Let me save this and wait for the application to redeploy. Notice what happens here. I'm gonna to switch to the console. And you see there's an exception. So the exception says that no injection source was found for a parameter of type my date. So what Jersey is trying to do is it's trying to see, uh, well, it first sees that there is a path param annotation on a type my date. Now it sees if there is a way it can convert from a string to my date. And it realizes that it cannot. There is really no converter that's available to Jersey at this time, which can convert from string to my date. So it doesn't even load the application. It just throws an error up front. This is the second time you've seen something like this uh, happening with Jersey. There is an error and Jersey gives you an exception up front and it doesn't even start the application because it knows that there is this path param annotation on a custom data type and at some point of time it has to do the conversion from string to this data type and it doesn't know how. Okay, now how do we set up this conversion to happen and how do we let Jersey know how to do this conversion? There are a couple of classes that we need to learn about. The first class is called param converter provider. And the second class is param converter. Let me start talking about the second class first. Whenever you need to convert any of these parameters from string to a custom data type, you need to implement a param converter. A param converter is an interface that has methods to convert from a string to your custom data type. So that's the first thing you have to do. You have to write the logic to convert from string to your custom data type. In this case, I have to write the logic to convert from today to my my date instance uh, by just getting the current date and setting the date, month, and year values. If it's tomorrow, I increment the current date by one and set the same values. If it's yesterday, I decrement by one. You get the idea. So there has to be this logic that's written to convert from string to your data type, and that's your param converter. Once you've implemented the param converter, you need to implement another interface called param converter provider, which is a provider. We've seen what providers are in JAX RS. So it's a, it's a provider class which tells Jersey to use this param converter given the type. Now, why did Jersey give an exception when we tried to use uh, the path param for my date? Because it was not able to find anything that did the conversion from string to my date. Now what the param converter provider does is it tells Jersey, hey, whenever you see any uh, param annotation on this data type called my date, use this param converter that the developer has already implemented. So these are the two classes. So one is the param converter that has a from string method, which takes in a string and returns the type that you want, which, is, which does the actual conversion, right? And then there is a param converter provider that takes in the type and returns a param converter. So when the application starts up, you can imagine there are a bunch of these param converter providers that are registered with Jersey. Now when Jersey finds a type that it doesn't know how to convert, it's gonna ask each of those param converter providers and say, hey, param converter provider, I've got this type, can you give me a converter? Now if the provider says, no, I cannot give you a converter, it's gonna move on to the next provider and it's gonna keep asking all these providers 
till it finds a provider that can say, okay, for this type, I've got a converter for you. And if it returns a converter, Jersey is happy and it knows how to do the conversion. And if none of these providers can give a converter successfully, then Jersey is going to say, okay, I don't know how to convert the string to this data type. And it's going to give the error that we've already seen. Okay, so we're going to implement these two classes now.